Fan Qing wanted to build a house. It didn't need to be very big or gorgeous, just full of books, which can be passed on from one generation to another. The highest position Fan Qing had reached is Vice Minister of National Defense in the Ming Dynasty. This position means something, but for a long history, in fact, it is not worth mentioning. The legend of Fan Qing is the simplest thing: his seventy thousand volumes of books and his library. Books in the Ming Dynasty were very expensive. A book can be sold for one hundred grams of silver. At that time, there were only about one hundred thousand volumes in the court library. Based on Fan Qing's income, it should have taken him fifty years without eating or drinking to buy ten thousand volumes of books. Then where do the seventy thousand books come from? The answer is simple: handwriting. Most books in Tianyi Pavilion Library were exchanged with same-valued books from other bibliophiles and copied by handwriting. Sometimes, in order to meet the exchange deadline, Fan Qing would write days and nights without rest. Such hard work was kept until he died at the age of eighty. They had the most stringent reading rules. Even the offspring separated from the family cannot divide the books. Yiqing says, "Tianyi and Di Liu represent water. In the five elements, Tianyi belongs to water. In order to resist the invasion of fire, Fan Qing named his library Tianyi Pavilion." In fact, for more than four hundred years, the real power that keeps the fire away is a family of every generation. They all had a pool of water. Simple, but endless.